Alright, so you guys are gonna think I'm crazy when I say this, but this game is the spiritual successor to both the Metroidvania genre and also Look, Devil May Cry 2. Please help us! You gotta make some apologies for the fact that it's infested with furries and this is the way that all of the plot line is revealed. Don't worry, I think I can handle it. That's what she said. Exercise all your That's my talking sword. Send these foul creatures from this existence. Uh, but the actual gameplay here is tight. It controls beautifully. It's got dodges and parries and aggressive enemies that sometimes kill me. And you know what? I really can't complain. All things considered, this is a very well executed game. If I were playing this game for my own personal enjoyment, I would in fact uh, skip all of the all of the people talking portions. But for you guys, I will not. I will let you enjoy the story. But uh, that was just a little taste of things to come in terms of the awesome Daddy, combat. Did we get all of them? So here's the start of the game. Yeah, I think that's it. Our world has fallen to fade. Its great works long since complete. Its storied civilizations long since fallen to dust. The greatest legends of Elysium long since forgotten. What was once a land of promise has fallen to the ravages of war. And it was in this, our most desperate hour, that the greatest of Elysian tales began. The lone warrior stood against an army, slashing his way through all who opposed him. The mob stood no chance, and the soldier showed no mercy. But despite his victories, his skills, his ruthlessness, the valiant soldier would perish on this day. Not to the mob, but to a single child. Dust, dust, arise. Again, talking sword. A little bit odd as a character. Uh, a talking sword? What are you? Only that which you have summoned. Summoned? How? For what purpose? That I do not know. But we shall learn in time. Now rise, and claim the blade of Ara. It's a pretty awesome sword. That's at least nice. Stop. Stop right there. And who is she? Me? I'm Fidget, guardian of the sword. No offense, but aren't you a bit, well, small? For a guardian, I mean. Hey, I just look after that thing. After 200 years, nobody expects the sword to just fly off and start, you know, talking. I'm kind of wishing somebody told me this was part of the job description. Or maybe they did, and I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yeah, that happens sometimes. So, what is this sword? I am the Blade of Ara, and you, Dust, are my fated sword bearer. Yes, well, that's all great and everything, but I think it's about time I got this sword back to the clan. I can't let you just leave with this sword, Fidget. Right now, it's the only thing that knows who I am. I don't even know how I got here. Hmm. Well, then you leave me no choice. I... I, I challenge you! The winner gets the sword! Well, uh, I... I don't really want to murder this adorable furry all right, thing. Alright, alright, you win. But don't think I'm leaving empty-handed. I'm coming with you. But, um, I really need the sword back when you're done doing... You know, whatever it is you're doing. What exactly am I doing, Hara? The answers you seek lie to the east. There is a path through the glade that leads down the mountainside. And from there you will find a village. That is your first step. Then will you give me the sword? I really need it. 
get it back home before anyone notices it's uh, gone. When I find out just what it is I'm supposed to do with it, it's all yours, Fidget. Come on, let's go. There was a faint sexual innuendo at the end there, I would say. When he figures out what to do with it, it's all hers. Oh yeah. The Glade. It's pretty. It's not trying pretty, but it's pretty. So, you know, you got your jumping and your slashing and you're looking down and looking up. Pretty basic on that level. You got the, uh... You can start attacks only with one of the buttons, but after that you can hit the other one to kind of hmm. chain into different forms of combos, is which is nice. Well, Devil May Cry us. Kind has what you'd call a sixth sense, and there's something just ahead. Oh my. Is it a treasure filled something? <laughs> As you can see, it depletes the flaming bar. Dash, but it is fast. There's also a mysterious wall chicken. Uh, just flashed in for a second. That is the name of the item. Is mysterious wall chicken, oh, right. the chicken chest. that comes from the wall. Correction, we found a locked chest. Well, what are you waiting for? Smash it open. That would be unwise, Dust. These chests are protected by arcane locks from the last era and are well beyond my capabilities. I suppose we'll need a key then. So as you can see, in addition to needing a key, we also want to, you know, if possible and convenient, come back here when, uh... when we can crawl underneath low-hanging thingies. A little crawl space or whatever there. Oh, Bambi! Die, Bambi, die! Oh. Oh, won't let me murder Bambi. Uh-oh. It's monsters. Calm yourself, Bidget. Dust. Focus. Remember what you've learned thus far. Yeah, I'm going with that second one. Yeah. See, for such a cute looking game, the combat is so incredibly well done. <sighs> Nobody said anything about monsters. Strange. Where did I learn these skills? You wield the blade of Ara, and with it, all the skills imbued therein. Uh, hello? Monsters? Is that why I summoned you? To control this power? It is unlikely, Dust, that I would awaken from my slumber for such selfish reasons. There is a village beyond these woods. Perhaps finding it will aid in restoring your memories. And then we'll be in the clear, right? No more monsters? Fidget, I think things are about to get a whole lot worse. <sighs> and to think, this morning started off so well. At least take these feeble fruits. Something tells me you're going to need them. Alright, got some feeble fruit. Feeble fruit is just a weak healing item. You can press up to manually save in a slot. Cool. Other than that, it's all auto saves, baby. And you can see it, it teaches you some combos with cool names. That one there I just did is From Whence It Came. Oh, yeah. Just did it again there. And the ground throw. Show you it again there. You actually pick out, like, one of the enemies that you hit and smack them against the ground and deal huge damage to them. In addition to some damage to everything else. Oh, I just kind of, like, didn't see him there against that tree. I 
have taken damage. So you've seen this one a few times. That's the one that reminds me the most of Devil May Cry of all of the things in this game. And it's partner ability, smashing them back down into the ground there. Smash. And we've got the classic brawler wall that you can't go through in order to run away from fights. Hold here, Dust. You have unlocked a new ability. Bear witness to the Dust Storm. I like it. Hold Y to perform the Dust Storm. But beware. Skilled as you may be, you cannot maintain the storm for long without hurting yourself. In that case, maybe I can help. If you press B, I'll perform an attack so spectacularly awesome that it'll produce emotions you didn't even know exist. It's a bold claim. Please contain yourselves as I demonstrate. That was, uh, very pretty. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just keep the rest of my repertoire to myself. I'm sorry, Fidget. I'm sure it'll come in handy somehow. Actually, Dust, between the three of us, this could be quite useful. The Dust Storm can manipulate Fidget's projectile into a more powerful attack. Observe. <laughs> a bit more cool. Wow. Oh, by the way, every time I use my power, it'll use up a bit of energy meter. You can recharge the meter with melee combos. Yes, Dust. Between your combos and Fidget's own powers, you can achieve a higher hit chain, which will yield bonus experience after each battle. However, if you are struck by an enemy, the chain will be broken, and you will lose your bonus experience. Huh? All right. I think I understand. If this is all too much for you, you can check out the help screen via the pause menu by pressing start. I will never do that, Thanks, Fidget. Fidget. I'll take a look if I'm ever in trouble. I suppose I might as well, you know, make a little use of that. Oh yes. 125 hit chain. Finish them. So the air throw that they just told me about, you've seen a few times, do that by knocking him up into the air, and then uh, hitting X three times and then Y. That was not it. <laughs> Aww. He hit me when I was so far up in the air, though. There it is. If you press down in Y, it, uh, it gives higher priority to this attack right here. So even if you swing three times, you can still do that without throwing. So there's up, and there's down. And there is the boss ability to just dust storm the crap out of them. Handled. 
got any items for me. Hey, you just leveled up. Is that what I did? It feels good. Great even. As it should, Dust. You've acquired a skill gem. Open the character screen from the inventory to upgrade your abilities and become even more powerful. Cool. So this is kind of an interesting system that they have laid out here. Um, so as it said there, you can only have your highest ability be four gems above your lowest ability. So right now there's no gems on anything. Um, I'm going to level up attack. And as you'll see, that made my attack go up by six. Like the next one on my attack will make it maybe go up by 16 or something like that. So each gem that you put into a stat progressively gives you a higher increase in that stat. Um, but you can't just max out one stat and become super powerful by having one super big number in attack or defense. Um, because of this limitation that you can only have a difference of four between your lowest and highest gem count. It's a pretty cool system. I'm curious about what's down here, but I'm a little worried that I'll just die. Let's see. Oh, it's a treasure chest. And there's a key down here. Oh, oh, so close! Yes, I made it. Leap of faith. They chased and I ran, five, maybe six of them, all armed to the teeth, closing in fast. I'd made it to Archer's Pass, but with an arrow in my leg, they caught up with me and that head at that headless statue. Surrounded, desperate, and nowhere else to go, I climbed out to the hand and made a leap of faith. Huh. Alright, so that sounds like it's a description of an item location. Like, like somewhere I can get something cool. Now, I am going to, uh, in my inventory here, yes, that's exactly what I'm going to do, is change what's in my quick item slot. So right now it's the chicken, right, which gives me plus 80 health, the mysterious wall chicken that comes out of mysterious walls. And it upgrade, it, it will restore all of my health at once. And because I want to be a little bit more proactive about that, and, you know, not wait until the absolute last possible second to be healing, I'll, uh, I'll put the feeble fruits in there instead. So the dust storm, the dust storm, this thing here, is pretty awesome, and it stops things from hurting you, like, you know, if they're caught in it, they can't be attacking. Oh, I got hit by that little midget. Oh, dang it. It also builds up your combo a lot, but it does very little damage compared to just swinging at things. Maybe that's one of the things I could have upgraded, though, is it? Oh, fidget. Okay. Determines the potency of the dust storm. Cool. Wow. It's really beautiful up here. Yeah. So, any idea where we are? I was maybe hoping you could tell me. Oh, silly me. I seem to have dropped all my detailed maps and navigational equipment chasing after a crazy flying sword. It's fair. I'm sorry I got you mixed up in this fidget. Well, you should be. Digging me sword, getting me in trouble. You know, now that I think about it, this isn't the first time I've seen this view. I've stood here before, in this very spot. Then perhaps you recognize the village at the base of these cliffs? It's hard to make out from here. We'll need to drop down to the valley floor if we want to get any closer. Very well. Proceed as you wish, Dust. I will proceed as I wish. I actually got a little bit distracted back here. Oh, oh enemies pretty small. Cool. Since enemies are fun to kill, I have proof of that. Anyhow, back here there was a treasure chest. Of course I want to get that treasure chest. I'm not super concerned with killing everything on the way. But I'll make a go of, you know, dealing at least a little bit of damage to the hordes as I go through.
exactly, where exactly was that? I must have been over here. I've gone back a bit too far. Oh no. I guess I'll have to kill a whole bunch more cartoon foxes and whatnot. Attack. See there, I got a 18 more attack out of that. There it is. Okay, but I have to drop down. I have to drop down. Okay. Oh no. Killing more things. How tragic. How did I even get hit? I didn't even notice that I got hit there. I will go ahead and pop a fruit though. I mean, they're called feeble fruit, so I'm not exactly going to conserve them like they're gold. No deal, small guy. The only reason you lived that long is because I thought you were already dead. And this is the little mini game for unlocking chests. Just press the buttons on time and you, you will be rewarded. Oh, so close. I do have a new vest here. Might as well equip it. I don't think they've got any other uh, noteworthy items though. So even though the dodge does use up uh, your energy, it's still the fastest way to get around. Energy's, you know, it's not like you've got to be at full energy every time you run into a fight, really. All it lets you do is dodge and shoot projectiles, and neither of those really take up a whole lot of your energy. A lot of the items that I'm getting are just ingredients and materials for smithing at the blacksmith. I feel like I jumped super high there somehow. Must have just been my imagination. <laughs> What is down here? I really like that embankment that I was fighting on so much because uh, it's hard to see all the way up and down on it. Yeah, this game is outrageously fun in terms of gameplay, if you can get past the cartoony exterior. Which I understand not everyone will be able to do. <laughs> New ability acquired. And I got a simple pendant blueprint. I got the aerial storm. Ooh, flying. 